Hey guys, it's Jeff with Jailbreak Movies. Let's talk about the biggest Jailbreak release in quite some time. It's called Celeste, and it allows you to share files via Bluetooth. From iPhone to iPhone, from iPhone to PC, from iPhone to Mac, and other devices, from iPhone to even a Nokia phone, if you so well desire. Now, just right off the bat, Celeste is quite pricey. It comes in at $7.99 on sale. Uh, the original price is, of course, $9.99. So Celeste is not going to be one of those impulse purchases. You're really going to need to think about whether or not this functionality would be beneficial to you or not. Now, Bluetooth file transfer. Basically, what this allows you to do is, like I said, transfer files over Bluetooth using a variety of devices. Now, the nice thing about Celeste is that according to the developers, it's zero configuration. That means there's no app icons to, you know, mess with. There's no settings in the settings app to mess with. It just works. Uh, Celeste integrates with a variety of apps right out of the box, including like photos. You can share photos, music from your iPod, contacts, iBooks, uh, memos, you know, Dropbox, etc. So right out of the box, you get a plethora of support across a variety of different apps, which is extremely nice. Now, as I mentioned, there's no app and there's no settings to configure, but it does use two key jailbreak tweaks that you're probably familiar with to kind of massage itself into the iOS user interface. Now the first of such tweaks is of course SB settings. If you swipe down you'll see a uh, toggle for Celeste. That's how you actually enable or disable the file sharing. Now the second jailbreak tweak that's used to integrate within the iOS UI is action menu. If you open up the iPod app and you tap and hold on a particular song you'll notice action menu will pop up and then you'll see a send option. And if you tap that send option, well, what happens? The Bluetooth discovery comes up and it tries to find another device to share your file with. Now, as I mentioned, Celeste is compatible with a variety of different Bluetooth devices. But in this example, I'm gonna show you how to transfer a file from your iPhone to your Mac using Celeste. Before you even get started, you're gonna to wanna to bring up your system preferences. You wanna to go to Bluetooth. And then you want to um, select sharing setup. Now, once you're in sharing setup, you should see this Bluetooth sharing option. Make sure that it's selected. If it's not enabled, you're not going to be able to share files with your Mac. Now, these settings right here are not, you know, requirements, but they are, to me, the best settings to use to make the Bluetooth sharing simple and easy. So you can look at these settings and set your settings up that way if you would like. Now, let me show you an example of a file transfer via Celeste using Bluetooth using my photo app. Let me just pull up the photos. Now you'll see this sharing button here, and that's of course a familiar button if you want to email or you know, SMS uh, an image to your friends, you just tap that sharing button. But notice the new option that appears when you tap the sharing button, send via Bluetooth. So that's a, a totally new option that pops up because we have Celeste installed. So I'll just go ahead and tap that. Now it's gonna find my devices here. And you can see my iMac, my MacBook Pro, Okay, now it's finding my devices. So here's my MacBook Pro. I'm going to go ahead and um, tap on that. Now it's sending file. And now you can see on the Mac, it's sending the file. It did it you know, without any uh, authentication, without any prompts. It just popped up and started accepting the image. And this will um, be stored on my desktop. Okay. Now you see on Celeste, you see transfer complete. So just tap OK. And here's the image on my desktop. There it is. There's the image I just sent using Bluetooth via Celeste. So that's how Bluetooth file sharing works in a nutshell. That's how it should work, however. Now just to point a note, while this works perfectly fine between the Mac and the iPhone, I was having some major issues getting sharing between two iPhones, two iPhone 4s working correctly. I couldn't get it working actually. Now what I did is I, I restored both iPhones to uh, 4.2.1 and I re broke both iPhones. So it was a completely stock installation. Then I installed Celeste and I still was not able to get the sharing working between both devices. So I'm not sure if there's a bug there or I'm not sure if there's some kind of compatibility issue but I'm sure we'll get to the bottom of it. So what's the general consensus on Celeste? Well, it's a great jailbreak tweak, uh, tons of potential. Um, really, the sky's the limit for the things that you're gonna be able to do with this. Uh, um, it's gonna make sharing a lot easier between all sorts of devices. 
right now there are still a few bugs and a few issues that need to be worked out, but that's with every release that just comes out. That's just to be expected. Should you drop the $7.99 now? Well, that's going to depend. You may want to wait until you you know, get a feeling for what problems exist and what needs to be fixed, or you can just go ahead and jump in and get into the game early. Either way, you're probably going to be satisfied with Celeste. This is Jeff with JailbreakMovies.com.